Hey, I want to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Matt Moylan on the line. He's a sales accountant executive over at Thomas McGee Group, which is a division of Risk Strategies Company. Matt, welcome to the show. Thanks, Adam. Happy to be here. All right, um, so I'm excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk about succession planning, um, but before we get into that, uh, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing over at uh, Thomas McGee Group, please. Yeah, so my role at Thomas McGee and Risk Strategies is to – uh, help bring on new clients, and, and basically what that means is create custom risk management plans and succession plans for their personal lives as well as their businesses. And a uh, big surprise there. That's why I brought you on the show to talk about succession planning today. I'm excited to get into this. So a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives listening to this, and this is a hot topic on the podcast. Um, so what should – let's just start off here. What should they be thinking about? I mean, where do you want to start with this topic, so succession planning? Yeah, so every business and every family, uh, when you talk about succession planning or generational you know, wealth transfer, um, they all need four different things. They need, you know, comprehensive estate planning, comprehensive wealth management, you know, and, and you know, financial uh, planning, tax advice, and comprehensive risk management. So those are kind of your four pillars of succession planning, and risk management obviously is one of those, which is where I come in. Um, so what I do is I help my clients basically outline and, and create a blueprint to attack multiple strategies, and, and one is the risk management, so your your auto, your home, your, your personal assets that you need protection and, and liability for, uh, and then kind of another one is, you know, what does, what kind of tax strategies are you using that insurance can help with, you know, so that could be tax deferred cash growth, um, it could just be, you know, life insurance, death benefits, and the third one is just making sure that that overall plan is going to transfer to the next generation or it's going to succeed to the next business owner as transparently and smoothly as possible. And so I know, Matt, I know this is going to vary, obviously, from client to client, and I don't want to oversimplify succession planning, but there's only so much we can do a 10 to 15 minute podcast episode. <laughs> that being said, um, I do know as long as you've been doing this, certain themes tend to arise and happen over and over again. What are some of those common errors that you just see kind of happen over and over when a new client comes in that hasn't maybe spent much time on this on this topic and they know they need to? What are some of those just common pitfalls that you see over and over time and time again? Yeah, so I would say the first and foremost one is one they don't even have a plan, and mm. this is equally uh, distributed amongst business owners, you know, as well as families. Uh, so you know, I, I read a statistic recently where somewhere between fifty-five and sixty-five percent of you know families and businesses have a plan in place. So to me, that's a uh, yeah, that's great, but that's a huge percent of people that don't have a plan. Um, so first and foremost, we talk about what do you currently have, and if they don't have anything, great. Then that's what we're here for. And that's why we're having this conversation. Um, you know, it's not an overnight thing, but uh, it's definitely something that we take all considerations into play, uh, and, and we make sure that if they do have coverage, that it's enough. If they don't have coverage, that we just put something into place. Um, and then from there, it's, you know, let's really create this blueprint of, you know, if it's a business, you know, what kind of buy-sell program do you have? What kind of key person insurance do you have? Uh, or, you know, disability between partners. Um, those are all different options. Or even, you know, executive or key employee retention bonus plans. Um, those are all things that you can implement insurance for, uh, which can be in that succession plan. You know, on the on the personal side, your your family side, you know, making sure that you're taking advantage of different tax strategies and and like I said, your cash growth, you know, tax deferred cash growth plans, 
uh, which a lot of people don't even realize can exist. And, um, you know, you can add extra income in retirement. You can use it as a personal bank or a family bank. Um, there's really all kinds of different creative solutions that we can implement if you're interested in, you know, that kind of plan. So uh, I remember, so when I was a financial advisor, so I mean, I've been full-time in media now going on four years, but I remember when I was a financial advisor, the one thing that used to just, it just hurt my heart is when somebody would come to me and they bring a check after they'd already sold the business. And I obviously, I love the business. Thank you. I always appreciate it. But I'm like, why didn't you contact me before you sold the business? <laughs> like, you can't, like, the tax planning, all the things we could have done. Guess yeah. what? You have a check in your hand now. Can you please uh, talk to some of the business owners right now? And, and, and how far out should they, who are considering exiting a business, how far out should they really start seriously hunkering down and creating that like really um, in-depth strategy on their, on their succession plan for this position of the business. Absolutely. So how far out? I don't think there's a great pinpoint date, Adam. Mm -hmm. I, I think that, um, you know, most often I see succession planning needed is in your small family businesses, your legacy type of businesses, mm -hmm. uh, or your, you know, your small businesses, which technically, depending on the industry, can be between 250 and 1,500 employees, right? So that's, we think, wow, that's a, a decent sized business, but uh, in the scope of employees, mm -hmm. that is technically what a small business is. So mm -hmm. those are the businesses that need a plan more than, you know, your your big, massive corporate companies because those are more next man up, you know, and, and mm -hmm. those don't need as structured of a plan. Whereas, you know, if something happens to a, a small business, let's say there's two partners and one partner passes away or wants to sell, you know, what happens and, and is that funded? Um, so the sooner the better is the answer to that, that question. And, you know, if, if there's some kind of plan in place or, you know, one of the partners wants to eventually sell or, or you know, move on from the business here in the next couple of years. Uh, talking about those different tax strategies and, you know, it's not tax avoidance, but just kind of deferring those taxes and, and being as smart as you can to allocate, you know, your different policies to work for you as opposed to just Uncle Sam coming and saying, hey, you sold your business. Congratulations. Now <laughs> give me your money. Um, oh, it hurts my heart. So that, right? So that's kind of what I see. There, there's no great time uh, or, or great suggestion of, of a time frame, but I would say absolutely the sooner the better, uh, especially if you're looking to scale or make some kind of life or business change in the next couple of years. So that could be, you know, you want to sell, you want to add a partner, you want to change partners, you want to, um, you know, just make some kind of, movement within the business, uh, that's a great time to really evaluate your current plan or establish and create a plan with someone like myself. That's awesome. Um, and so, Matt, that being said, uh, I could talk to you about this all day long, but we're about out of time. If somebody's listening to this and they want to connect with you to learn more about succession uh, plan strategies um, and kind of what their options are, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out and to get more info? Absolutely. So the best way, uh, there's two good ways, but probably the best way is uh, on LinkedIn. I'm, I'm on there quite often. I'm pretty active on there. Um, on there. And then I recently started a blog called Mitigation Minute, and it's an insurance, uh, you know, risk management, as well as kind of some uh, financial, you know, personal and business financial uh, topics that, that I have kind of recently started. And so I'm really excited about that. So those are the two best ways that you can reach me. Fantastic. Well, Matt, really appreciate you uh, coming on the show today. And uh, what, what's the web address for that blog again? Because I don't think everybody caught it the first time, so now they can grab a pen the second time. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's called Mitigation Minute, and I'm actually in the, in the process of transferring the web domain. So I will email that link to you, Adam, and we can get that linked up. 
Awesome. Well, really appreciate you coming on the show today, Matt. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope we hope you uh, got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store, uh, and if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a subscribe there. But also uh, leave us some comments on the video. I mean, love to know what kind of things and projects you're working on. And uh, Matt, thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks, Adam. <laughs>